thundering traffic on this loop drive, we've always suspected really impacts one's experience of the park and deters people from coming to the park. This study, our cars driving the people out, was conceived to really get at this question. How does traffic in the park impact park usage? During car-free hours, the study found the ratio of people entering and exiting the park is one-to-one. -one. So during car-free hours, people are leaving and entering the park at the same rate. When cars are in the park, however, twice as many people are leaving than are entering. So cars are clearly driving people out of the park. Stroller traffic decreases by almost 40% when drivers are allowed in the park. The public perception of danger is very acute when cars are in the park. 60% of people surveyed think the park is dangerous when cars are allowed, compared to just 6% when driving is not allowed in the park. 75% of respondents say they've had a close call with vehicles while they're in the park. Making the loop drive car free will cause more people to use the park and boost physical activity levels that we know are really necessary if we want to improve the health of New Yorkers. Four out of five people surveyed said they would use the park more often if cars were banned. The time for car free Prospect Park is here now. We have been waiting and pushing to get the cars out of Prospect Park for years and now is the time to just go ahead and do it. I don't ever want any child to have to stay clear of Prospect Park because they fear the cars and so that is why I strongly strongly support transportation alternatives in their efforts to ban cars from Prospect Park for generations to come. Having been a lifelong Brooklynite, I too, like Tish, this was my other backyard to my house. And also being the only representative that not only represents the entire park, but the surrounding communities. I joined in the chorus of all the elected officials here today to say no more cars. For everybody in Brooklyn, Prospect Park was the place where we came on September 12th, 2001. This park was filled with people, with parents, with their kids, trying to recapture that peace, trying to recapture that element of love that we needed in the world. This was a sacred place, not just a place, not just an open space, but a sacred place for all of us. And that's why it's important for us to realize that if it's going to be people safe, it can't have cars in it. Reducing cars access to Prospect Park will make it an even better place for New Yorkers to spend time this summer. I know many parents like myself feel safer in the park when we don't have to worry about car traffic. I am proud to support Introduction 276, which closes the park to automobiles in the summer at all times except the morning rush hour on weekdays.